Hi guys, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. In today's video, I will take you through building a WhatsApp chatbot using the Twilio WhatsApp Business API and Django. So to get started, I'll go ahead and set up a new Django project. I'll call it WhatsApp bot. And they now create an app. And I'll just call it bot. Okay. Then let me open this in my VS Code. So this is just going to be a basic Django application uh, with one URL and we're just going to be sending a message and receiving a message. So I'll add another path to my URLs. And this will be an empty URL. Uh, import the include from djangourls.conf and then this will be include bot.urls and then I need to create that file in my uh, bot folder here I'll just copy from here Just remove that line. And then I'll create a basic view, call it uh, bot. Okay. And then before I continue, I'll need to install the Trilio uh, API. Uh, to do that, I'll just run pip install Trilio. And then I'll need to go ahead and create the Trilio account. So on the Trilio website here, I'll just click uh, sign up. Then I'll add my name, surname, email address, and the password. And once that's done, I'll just need to verify my email. And there we go. And just add a phone number, verify it. And once that's done, uh, you can just go ahead and complete this form here. So we'll be using uh, WhatsApp and uh, what else here? Uh, we can just uh, select alerts and notification and we'll be coding our solution.
programming language, uh, Python, and no. And then once you've set up your account, um, you will need to activate your you know, sandbox. So uh, just click agree. So on your left here, you should have all these options, messaging and under messaging, you should have uh, WhatsApp and everything. So we'll click done. So to activate our test, uh, our sandbox, uh, we need to send a WhatsApp message to this number here. So I'll go ahead and click here and this should open up WhatsApp web. Then I'll just click continue chat, uh, use WhatsApp web. then just send the message and this should activate our sandbox okay and then next up uh, if we head over to this page here so we've already installed Trilio in our react i mean in our django project so the next thing in our bot view i'll go ahead and import uh, this line here so i'll head to views then import that Then I'll need to add my client SSID and auth token. Just head over to your main page uh, on your Twilio console. And then when you scroll down here, you should see your account SSID. Go ahead and copy that. And I'll replace this. And then for the auth token, uh, it should be available here as well. So just click show here, then copy. Now for our bot, uh, what we'll do is we'll pass a message uh, when we make a call to the uh, this URL here, which is the empty URL. So we'll pass a message. And then we'll just have a basic if statement. Uh, so we'll say if message equals to high. So we'll have an if statement. If it's high, then if we go back here, we'll create a new message. Okay. We also need the phone number of the person to send this WhatsApp to. So first here, maybe let's use my number. But this number that uh, it should be coming from the request as well. So if it's high, then we'll just have a message. We'll keep the default message. And then just above here, we need to add a, an exempt. So remember with Django, when you're making requests, you need to pass the CSRF token, but in this case, we won't be passing any of that, so we need to add a decorator here. To do that, we need to import uh, the decorator called CSRF uh, exempt. So we'll go django.views.csrf.decorators. Oops, sorry. It's decorators.csrf uh, csrf exempt okay then we'll just edit here so that should prevent any issues with the csrf token and then by default, of course, since uh, this is a web application, we need to return an HTTP response. So let's just go ahead and say return HTTP response. And we need to, okay, so it will import it for us. And we'll just say hello. So if I go ahead and run this, Let's first run our migrations.
So if I run this in my browser, uh, I'll need to pass the message along and then it will only send a, uh, what do you call, a message to my uh, WhatsApp number. But uh, this is not how you typically want this to work because you won't be making a uh, request or your users won't be making requests to this endpoint. Rather, they'll be sending messages to WhatsApp. So the next thing you'll need to do is in your Twilio console, uh, let me close that. So in your Twilio console, just head back to messaging and then in our WhatsApp uh, sandbox. So in our WhatsApp sandbox here, we need to add a what you call a URL uh, of which it should be listening to for any incoming uh, request. So in this case, it will be our local host, but it won't be able to access our local host from here. So what we need to do is uh, set up a tunnel using ng-rock. So this will just create the URL for us that we can actually click on or visit online. So if I click on this, it will run my Django application. I'll just need to add this to my allowed host. So we do run my Django application. Uh, I just need to pass message here. So I'll replace this and like that, and then click save. So now every time a user sends a WhatsApp message to this uh, bot here, it will send that message to this URL and then our uh, Python view here or our Django view will handle the request. So to actually get the message, uh, we need to just change this because firstly, let me disable all of this and just print the request. So if I send a WhatsApp message, let's say hello, and head to my Python. So as you can see, it's rendering this post request here. Let me just click, uh, let me just add dot post. And then write another message. So this is what we're getting. So we're getting this object here. Uh, we have our body, which is the message that the user sends. We have the profile name, which is the name of the user. So to get the message, I'll just replace this and then replace message with body and then send a name will be request.post and this will be profile name. So let's just see if we're getting the right details. Let me just print that out. So if I send another message, it should return the sender name and the message that was sent. So there we go, we have hello and the name. So now, uh, let's see if we can get the number as well. So request.post. So yeah, we are receiving the WhatsApp number, which is this from uh, number here. So to get the number, we'll just create another variable called send a number and then replace our profile name there with from. Uh, let's just see what that returns. Okay, no oh, WhatsApp. Okay, so that's all we need. And to send a reply to the user, we'll just check uh, the messages that are sent back to us. So here, if the user sends hi, we'll send back a message to them. 
So we'll send like the message to the sender number and then the message will be hello there. Or maybe let's replace this just to show the difference in the WhatsApp. Let's say hi, and then we'll have the you the name. How's it going? Cool. Then just format that. Then this will just be the sender name. So now if I send another message here saying hi, it should return a message back to me. And there we go, it says, hi, Jalom, how's it going? So obviously this can get uh, very uh, complex to an extent where you add some machine learning on top of this, or you can add some databases to check what was the last uh, message that the user sent. So for example, let's say I had a list that the user would uh, maybe have to choose from. So if they start the chat by saying hi, then I send back a list of options saying, hey, please choose uh, from these uh, five items on what you need assistance with. So you just store the messages with the user and offer more features and stuff like that. But this was just a basic tutorial just to show you how to set up a basic bot using Django and the Trilio API for WhatsApp. Thank you.